Hello guys. So if you are a Ryzen user and uh, you are an Android app developer, you must be using uh, Android e Studio. But unfortunately, uh, the Ryzen, the AMD uh, processor does not support uh, PFX now or something like that. I'm showing you right now. Uh, so it's called next as you can see the cpu does not support record features vtx and uh, svm uh, so it's actually the intel processors have those features uh, but uh, only the yeah, ryzen processor supports is in linux not in windows so you can still use the virtual device uh, in uh, without the vtx and svm but uh, it's very slow so to fix that uh, uh, you need to use a uh, emulator called Nox Player, and uh, from there uh, you can install it from here. And uh, but unfortunately, to every time you need to test the app, you need to go to CMD and uh, type this command, so, and uh, then press enter. So though uh, it, after opening the Nox uh, Nox Player, of course, but uh, it's very um, annoying to be honest. But uh, you can fix that and you won't have to uh, type any CMD uh, command there. Uh, so to fix that, all you have to do is just go to uh, C drive and from there go to uh, user and uh, your user name on the computer and then go to app data. And from there go to local and uh, then go to Android and uh, then go to SDK and lastly go to platform tools and from there uh, select these three files and uh, control C to copy it and then go to C drive again and uh, go to program files and from there go to Nox folder and uh, then go to bin folder and uh, that's it uh, here uh, you paste the items ctrl v and uh, replace all the existing one so as you can see it's got uh, replaced so now you won't have to type any command uh, so after you open the android studio just open the nox player uh, here you can see my nox player and uh, just wait a few seconds to until it opens It might take a few seconds to first stop. As you can see, the device is automatically connected. So if I test it here, click on OK, and uh, it should be running on here. So here is the knock player. Uh, as you run it, uh, you can see the this is the app I am working on. So this is how you do it. Uh, you won't have to type any command or anything. It uh, will be like uh like the official emulator so uh, i hope this video helps you uh, don't forget to give a like to this video and subscribe to my channel uh, thanks for watching